Hey, what's going on, my friend? Uh, what's your name? William Anthony. Uh, uh, how old are you? 62. 62? Where you from? Uh, born and raised in Baltimore. Okay, how long was you in Philadelphia for? I've uh, been down in Philadelphia now for about three and a half years. For about how long? About three and a half years. Okay, oh, alright. And you've been down in Kensington pretty much that whole time? Uh, not quite. About uh, Kensington, probably two years. And what, what put you down in Kensington? May I ask? Uh, the dope. I mean, I mean, I'm, I meant to say, what put you down in Philly? What brought me down to Philly? Uh, my mom then lived in uh, Levittown, and she was struggling with her old age and everything. She's uh, getting ready to move on, so I come down to help them out. Right. That's what's up, man. What, um, what's the drug of choice? The drug of choice? Heroin. Heroin. And uh, how long you been doing it for? Uh, originally started heroin uh, back in 85, quit for a little bit of time, right, but I've been doing it for the last uh, three years now straight. Mm. And, um, do, do you ever see yourself getting off it? That's my plan, uh, just as soon as uh, housing gets me a place to set up, and I do plan on uh, stopping it, one, you know, my age and everything, uh, I'm gonna live, live a little bit longer, you know? Right. You don't know what's in that stuff, man. It's getting worse and worse. You don't know what they're putting in that stuff nowadays? If I do some of this shit right now, I'm just gonna die, yo. One bag, yo. Yeah. It's a. You don't know what they're putting in that stuff nowadays, you know? Not at all. That xylene, that's that's an animal tranquilizer. The human body don't know how to dispel it from the body, you know? It sends it out in forms of, you know, it sends it out in forms of uh, abscess and stuff like that, you know? Sort of, uh, you know, everybody down here pretty much knows me, right? But, uh, you know, I'm more or less homeless right now, so, you know, we all look out for each other being homeless, you know? So, How long was you, you was out here homeless the whole time? Been when I was in Levittown, right, I was living in a 15 man tent in the woods, right? But since I've lost my leg, it's a little bit difficult to get in and out of woods on the trail, you know? So, there's no. There's no more tents for me right now. Right. You want to explain how you lost your leg? Uh, actually, I had an infection on the inside. It wasn't from doing drugs I know of. There was no open wounds on my leg or anything. Uh, it swelled up three times its size and uh, went to the emergency room. They said another hour and a half I'd been dead. Damn. You know. So, um, you, you don't know where it came from? Don't know where it came from. Need to do that. Wow. How long ago that happened? Uh, about 19 months ago. 19? 19 wow. months ago, yes. God damn. And how long, you know, you don't know how long the infection was in there for? No, nah, they said it has been growing for a minute, so it could have been, you know, anywhere from two to six months, you know, I would guess. Oh, uh, it didn't hurt or nothing? Yeah, every once in a while I got tender or sore, you know. Right, but you just figure it go away and it ain't no right. Big deal, I didn't think too much about it, you, you know. Think it'd be life threatening. Yeah, exactly. You know, it swelled up so big. I mean, it's like three times the size, you know. Right. And I couldn't even walk. I had to call the ambulance, you know, and they came, got me off the ground, took me to mercy. Right. Um, so me some of the craziest things you've seen while you was down here. Some of the what now? Some of the craziest things you've seen while you oh were there. Oh my gosh, everything's crazy, you know? Uh, give, um, give me one crazy thing you've seen. One crazy thing I've seen, I've seen actually people uh, wake up and do a triple shot, right? Or while they're sleeping, have somebody hook them up and do a shot and wake them up out of their sleep, right? Thought the person was going to have a heart attack, you know? Oh, 
Oh, say that again. Yeah, actually, the person is actually sleeping, already drunk out from doing too much, right? And somebody shot him up while he was sleeping and brought him out of their sleep, which is quite a surprise to a person in that situation, right? And, uh, it's, you know, I thought they were going to actually go ahead and continue to have a heart attack or die right there on the spot. They went into all kinds of crazy stuff. Wow. That's the worst thing you can have to do is have somebody do that to you like that. Wow. Day to day out here, but from when we go to bed, how's the day? How's your day go? Well, I mean, it's just, uh, if you don't have money or anything like that, you're actually trying to figure out to, how to come across your next uh, shot or whatever, you know, or you know, by helping somebody get off right and they hook you up with 20, 30 units, you know. Um, that's right. you know, that's that's your goal during the day. Where are you gonna get your next shot from if you don't have nothing? Is it, is, do you have, for your first shot, do you have a problem often getting your own first shot? Do I have what on the first shot? You, do you have a, do you often have a problem getting your first shot, like when you wake up? Sometimes, you know, it all depends on how well, how long it's been since you did your last raid. You could be shaking real bad, which could cause problems, you know, the contact and the vein in your arm, you know? Uh, you know, getting to the restroom, you know, and in fact, with the heat and everything, too, you get the dehydration uh, problem, you know, you have to drink lots and lots of water, otherwise you get dehydrated and you can't get to the restroom. Right. So, um, Dope, is there any other drugs you do while you down here? Really what? Is there any other drugs you do while you down here? Uh, yeah, I like to do a mix, you know, a one-to-one -one mix, uh, either with powder or with uh, ice, you know, you mix the two together, right, it increases oh, the... You do, you, you do powder and ice? I do do them, not powder and ice together, oh. but powder and dope, you know, or ice and dope. Oh, all right. I was about to say, damn, ice and powder, ice and... That's a crazy one. That's a, that's a totally opposite of each, you know. That there, you just ask yourself if you got a problem with your heart you don't know about it, well, you might find out about it. Right. You know, if you're doing those two together like that. Oh, say that again? That's if you have a problem with your heart and you don't know about it, and you're doing ice and, and powder together, you might find out about that problem sooner than expected. You know, right. that's, two, that's two drugs with the opposite effect. You know, battling each other. Right. I, um, I came down here during the pandemic, like, you know what I mean? It was a mess down here. How was it when you first came down here? Uh, during the pandemic, thing? You came during the pandemic, too? Yeah, I was down here during the oh pandemic. God, it was such a party. Yeah. And you still stayed. I, I love the party. I couldn't take the cold. Yeah. One thing, I, I, I went to rehab, tried it with the subs. It didn't work. I came back out here. I said, when it get cold, I'm leaving. In October, I left and went to rehab. And I came back down here to do some interviews with y'all. <laughs> That's the next time y'all see me. But no, yeah. Yeah. But, but that's, that's crazy. You came down at the same time, and it was... What, 24-7? It was yeah. a party. Like, it was 24-7 really. down here, yeah. Everything was it going was on. It was such a party. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's dope everywhere. Everywhere. Police didn't mess with you or anything, you know? Dope everywhere. Yeah. All right.